Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another Dollar Tree food haul. Um, I went down there yesterday and I don't know. I done shopping all day yesterday. Um, and I wanted to go ahead and film this when I got home. But I ended up having to just keep everything bagged up. Putting bags in the deep freezer and couldn't separate it. So, this, I really just needed to get this done before all my food was still out. But, I ended up getting a really good deal on some cereal. <clears throat> I love when you go down there and they've got the name brand cereal. And, um, and of course, because I bought like Lucky Charms and I forget other stuff uh, for just a dollar. This time, I got... And I won't, it's past Valentine's Day, but it's not out of date. I already, like, checked it all. The cereal is good until November the 11th of 2019. And it is the General Mills um, Limited Edition Reese Puffs Peanut Butter Hearts. <coughs> and they also had, by General Mills, was the Dippin' Dots, the Cookie and Cream. I ended up getting like, I believe eight boxes of these and like four or five boxes of this. Kind of, I've never tried the Dippin' Dots. Now I have ate the regular Reese uh, Puff cereal and I did like it, kind of, but the kids I know will love this and I know they love the, uh, don't they have like Dippin' Dots, uh, something, what is that, ice cream? Dibs. That's a dibs, not dipping dots. But, uh, I knew the kids would like this. So, we ended up getting a bunch of these. And it always makes me so happy when I can find a cereal like this. Now, earlier, me and my son had a race to see who could finish the back of it. He won. I thought I would, but he did. So, so we got like... I think like around 14 boxes of cereal all together. Like just like cereal. Like everywhere. And I still like cereal in the kitchen. And here's like two more boxes of it. Okay. Let me just start with what's left laying up here. Okay, so my kid, I picked him up some the other day. Uh, at the Family Dollar Store slash Dollar Tree out in my town. I didn't do a haul on it or anything, uh, but w this was the first time he had tried the mac and cheese bites. was the other day, and he liked them, so I ended up... I do believe I picked up two boxes of these. Um, you only get like eight in the box, but for like one dollar, that's not really bad. Uh, that's like, you know, that's one snack meal for him. It's kind of weird having food in this room, but everybody was, I was going to do it in the kitchen or the living room, but everybody was in through there, and I just figured I'd bring, just film in here since I was already set up. So, I ended up getting the Crunch and Munch Butter Toffee Popcorn with Peanuts. I love these. I love, they got them in caramel too, but I really love the toffee one. And then, for snacks, I got the Junior Dippers. The cheese and the little cracker sticks. My kids love these. Okay. Then we got the it's by Consul Dental Chef Brownie Cookie Bar Mix with semi sweet chocolate chips. I think that's gonna be really good. And you get 14 ounces. I mean it's a pretty good heavy box. And I also picked up a pack of the Hormel uh, pepperonis, the originals. So, I mean, for a dollar, you get two pouches, and I think anywhere else you'd pay probably two, three dollars. <coughs> okay. So, by Star Quest, we got the tuna salad, and this one, uh, we got two of them, and they're both in ranch, and you know, that's a pretty good deal. You get a can of tuna, you get the crackers, and a spoon. I was really surprised you got a spoon in there. And I picked these up for my husband. And also by Burnswick, 
I picked up uh, just a regular one, and it's got the crackers. Now, I don't, and it does come with a spoon, too. And I picked him up one of these. It's just a tuna salad. They eat while they're at lunch. Really easy, and I don't have to worry about fixing lunch for work. Okay, so, now, I don't think I've ever really tried the vanilla ones. I always get the chocolate or the mocha. But I end up getting these cookie sticks. Um, they're filled. They're cream filled wafers, and this one is vanilla. I always get the chocolate for some reason. I don't know why. Or like hazelnut. That's what I always get. I always get hazelnut. But my kids, they're not really crazy about chocolate, but they love these. And I figured since they don't really care much about chocolate, that I would get them again of the vanilla. <coughs> and then. Now, I love teriyaki. It's just something. I love teriyaki. Chicken, pork, um, anything really that could be teriyaki, I love. And I ended up, now, I've never tried this one. It's by Supreme Traditional, and it's just a teriyaki to marinate your food in. So, I'm hoping I like this because I have bought some teriyaki that I would never eat again. Then I picked up, I figured I'd make a cherry pie, but, you know, it's wrong kind of time, not kind. It's wrong time of year to make a homemade pie, so I end up getting the filling, and I'll just make a home, uh, the pie crust myself is what I always do. <coughs> My allergies are about to kill me. So, this brand is Mother Made, and it's just filling or topping. I kind of wish I'd got three cans now because I don't think two cans is really going to do what I want to do. Okay. So, I don't know. I kind of think I'd pay a dollar for these was probably a little higher because I think anywhere else you get them for like 89 cents. But it's the Chef Boy RD and it is the chicken ravioli and tomato sauce. Now, I have never tried these and they just... I kind of like it so hopefully I do because I really love chicken I like it better than I do hamburger meat or pork I'm not a big pork eater <coughs> when I was younger I liked hot dogs I don't like hot dogs no more I can't stand them it's just something about pork uh, when I got older okay well, we're getting in that frozen food now Okay, so I know I got two of these. It's the grilled chicken sandwiches. I've never actually, I've tried the crispy chicken and the hamburgers, but I've never tried the grilled chicken. And it's got uh, Monterey Jack cheese. So I'm going to try these out. And I've tried the spicy crispy chicken. Okay, I got 10 of these. Because in the morning, my husband is like, he wants to eat early. Me, myself, it takes me a little longer because I drink coffee, and I'm not a fast coffee drinker because um, I'm drinking coffee right now, but 30 minutes after we're up, he's like ready to eat, and really, it takes 15 minutes to make the coffee, and I'm not ready for it, so I picked up 10 of these for this week. And I picked up, uh, I think, I think I picked up two of the cheese uh, chef, I mean Red Baron, uh, deep dish, deep dish, cheese pizzas, you get three in the pack, then This is not organized very good. Then I ended up picking up much more sausage and biscuits. But I ended up by the Jimmy Deans. I mean, these are really good, but I don't know. I like a biscuit, but these are really good too. And it's the English muffin sausage and cheese, and these are really good. So I picked four of them up. And I did pick up, and I guess I froze it. I did not know it was in that bag. 
but I guess it'll be all right. I picked up two of the tuna uh, Brunswick. Okay, then I guess I thought I picked up four. Well, I think I did pick up four of the Hot Pockets, um, ham and cheese, which they do have like pepperonis. They've got the Philly steak. But my youngest kid loved these, and it's something he can pop in the microwave and fix himself. But, I don't know. I want a new microwave. I threw my microwave away the other day. And yes, I did my microwave food. But, I fixed, I could, like this morning, I fixed two of these. And I take them apart, and I put them on, like I turned the oven on 350. But besides using the bottom rack, I use the top rack and just separate them. And 15 minutes, they're done. Okay, so I knew I bought two boxes of these. I like when they have the cheese sticks down there, but they didn't have none. For my oldest son, he loves the uh, shoestring fries. So I picked him up a bag of these. Well, I did think that I picked up Four ham and cheese, hot pockets. I must have left a bag in the freezer or something. No, right here it is. Okay, there's a bag I ain't done. So I ended up, I guess I picked up three boxes of these. And, well, all together I picked up five boxes. But two, three of them are the Texas Toast Garlic Toast. You get six thick slices in here. So I got three of these. And then... Now, this one, you only get four slices, and this is the Forlana Texas Toast Parmesan Garlic Toast. Okay, so this would be something I'd like, but my Otis, he, and I picked up two boxes of these, but my Otis is such a picky eater, we can't really get him to eat anything, and he will actually eat the toast, so, and the shoestrings, and the Red Baron's cheese, and that, I like everything I bought. That's the only thing he'll eat besides the cereal. My youngest, he'll eat anything and everything. So, here's like two more of these. And I guess I must have picked up six of these all together. So, on the Red Baron, they did have the pepperoni. And they got the little pizzas, too. The little Red Baron's microwave pizza. They're about this big. I got, I didn't buy none this time. Okay, so then I got the Red Baron's Scrambles Minis. It's bacon and egg. I guess it's got scrambled eggs, bacon bites, and cheese on a crust. Two packs of them. And I guess that is all that I got in my food haul. Because, um, they really didn't have a lot to, really, yesterday. I always got the wrong time, but I did like what I got, and I think, I don't remember what I spent. My receipts in my purse. But, I mean, I think, you know, with everything being a dollar, <coughs> on the Hot Pockets, you can get them probably like two dollars i think they're like three dollars a box 250 i forget now the cheap ones that i um like at my grocery store just for the cheap ones are two dollars and the uh, regular hot pockets are three dollars i think so that's like saving me money if i buy them one at a time at the dollar tree only thing that i think that i really didn't do good on was the chef boy rd and I don't know. I think it seems like Walmart sells them for like 89 cents sometimes. And I don't know if that's just when they got them on sale. But I cannot wait to try this because I think this is going to be really, really good. But I guess that is everything that I got in my Dollar Tree food haul. And I hope you guys did like this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I guess that's it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.